Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwami asa ala. Kuhuloyim la. Yehawa bahashim yawashai. Bahashim rikha hakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well on that by the spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwat that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yahchanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick blessing, praying that it's edifying. Staying occupied in prophecy, man. This is an article from Business Insider. And it's something that we've been hearing about for quite some time, but it says South Africa could be the first ever country to provide a no strings attached universal basic income. Now, that's what they'll basically be telling you. No strings attached. Come on through. We got money for you. You know, we know you're down on hard times. We're going to get rid of all that. You know what I'm saying? You just come through. And we know what this is leading up to, man. It's really leading up to that, that you know, that the implementation of the M-A-R-K, man. Okay, so it says South Africa suffers from severe income inequality. One of the worst anywhere in the world. Its unemployment rate, meanwhile, is over 30%. But his government thinks it has a solution, universal basic, basic income. So when I clicked into the link on the um, universal basic income right there, it kind of had an article, you know, um, with Business Insider. Of course, they want you to you only get a portion of the story and then they want you to sign up. And I, you know, I wasn't going through all that. But to get the gist of the story, it was a lady that just had got out of prison somewhere here in the States. I'm not, you know, um, and. She just had got out of prison. I think she was in there for about six years, seven years or something like that. But they pretty much kind of gave her a universal income. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a, you know, a car, you know, a place to stay, you know. And, and as long as you pretty much, you know, do what you're supposed to do, you know, you, you're good. They just going to keep on hooking you up every month. And, you know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of EBT or food stamps right now, except for. There's not that total control control over it. Because, you know, uh, a lot of people, they're abusing that shit. I know, like, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? If you go to a supermarket, I can go to the supermarket right now. It'll probably be three, four, five people around there. You know, like, hey, I'm, I'm selling stamps. You know, you can get uh, $40 worth of food for $20. You know, that type of shit. In cash. You know, so they'll just swipe the card. You give them $20 in cash. So all that little abuse, little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? They're going to, you know, they're going to cut into all that. And they've really done, they really have over the years. They've, they've cut into a lot of um, uh, uh, abuses of stuff like that. And all they're going to do is pretty much probably cut into it more. And, and it's going to be overall with that, that, that M-A-R-K, man, that market of beauty and the beast. That's going to be the total control. They're going to, you know, tell you about, you know, how your identity can't be stolen. You know, um, your funds can't be stolen. I done a lesson earlier today on this lady. She said that, you know, they somebody just cleared her whole EBT card out in states that she wasn't even in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she woke up, her account was on zero, and she was pretty much bugging out. Why? Because she's dependent upon that food. She's dependent upon what she can get with that. So that's gonna place the people in 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 full fledged, I need you. I need the government. I need the so-called white man to take care of me. What am I gonna do? Right. So this is what it's all leading up to. See, matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture because we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is how Esau gets down. He comes in humbling himself. He goes crouching. He tells you about how much, you know, we need to help. And generally they start stuff like they, you know, a lot of stuff that Esau try and get going or try and get popping. They tested in, um, in the continent of Africa a lot of the time. They already pretty much know Jake. Jake, they know Jake in the, um, in the States. They know how our people get down. They know that the women are, of, you know, a lot of our so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women are on assistance. They already know the data and status on the men. They know how many of us are working. They know how many of us are not. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the reason why they try and do things like censuses, you know, and, you know, count the people and all this other stuff like that. And, yeah, you know, Esau is not slick, man. Esau is not slick. You, hey, you, you, better, you better know this man, man. You better... That's why when you first come into this truth, you'll get the milk. But what you'll start to learn is your enemy because we are at war. The Lord said uh, he sent us into um, slavery to our enemies. He didn't send us into slavery to our friends. These people are not, you know, you can't trust this man. The scripture says not to. Second Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that once he gets you to that state, he has you pretty much in his, you know, in, in his grasp. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, then what's his next move? His next move is to, to, to implement that thing thing in you 
then he has the opportunity to turn shit off, turn shit on, get to threatening you. You have to do this, 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 and this if you want to keep this. And it's pretty much like that with your, um, you know, the, the food stamps and Section 8, little shit like that. That stuff right there is like, you know, it's certain stuff that the people got to do to keep that stuff. You know, they give you certain stipulations. You might have to go and, um, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, whatever, you know, whatever they're telling you to do, you know, so... When it, they, they've already done their test with, or data test, I would say, with the COV, you know, 1-9. They already know, like, you know, okay, well, these are the people that are really going to get down, and these are the people that are not. So, you know, it's going to be a state of some resistance, but it's overall going to be a state of a lot of people are just going to go for it. Why? Because they're already used to getting that type of assistance, Right. And they done, like I said, again, I think they've done a lot of tests when it came down to, um, you know, they pretty much got the data that they needed to see who was going to do what, man. Because a lot of people was, you know, you pretty much had your Trump supporters. They was like, man, fuck all that. I ain't putting on no mask. I ain't doing none of that. Then you had the other half of the country that voted for Joe Biden, man. They went out here and they just done what they told them to do. And generally that Democratic Party, man, that blue state shit, man, that's pretty much that's that's, you know. It's a lot of so-called white people that's the Democrats, but you know what I'm saying? That's really Jake. That's that, that represents um um Jake, man. Okay, so it goes on to say uh, the idea has broad political support and the country's largest political party, the African National Congress, said recently it is committed to implementing a universal basic income within two years. Once the the figment of ideology dreamers a universal basic income regular direct cash payments to a population with no strings attached has grown in legitimacy especially after the success of cov era the cov 119 the, the 119 the 1919 if you know what i'm talking about it says stimulus checks so they see they done the test with it what, what do you think those um those uh stimulus checks was what do you think those you know that um that little you know, they, they got, you know, all that unemployment, you know, because people was getting paid more money being off the job than they was going to work. And people was enjoying it. <laughs> you know, people weren't paying rent. You know what I'm saying? They had the rent moratorium. They had, um, you know, um, basic things that you the government was taking care of, especially if you was just already somebody that was on assistance to begin with. They was getting down. Shit, man. I'm, man, look, some of my neighbors, man. Phew, because man they was getting down when i say they was they they was they was lump summing it up man they was putting some money you know i mean they was getting paid every two weeks every week whatever you know man they man they was getting food they was getting, <laughs> so they've done the data on it and, and they and they tested it and people were comfortable with it so that's the thing see that's why we you know you can't be ignorant of satan's devices because once he gets you like that then he's going to come with the next step like well okay you want to keep this going you got to do this it's almost like your Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got the your Jakes that's into entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we know you're talented, but if you really want this position, you really want to be this, you want this part in this movie, you want, you know, um, um, to go on world tour, and you, you got to do this. Next thing you know, you're on the casting couch, you know? Okay, it says, um, tech visionaries racing to develop even more advanced artificial intelligence have also suggested implementing a universal basic income. They say it would help mitigate the job losses from AI. Well, why would you let AI take all the jobs? See, this is this is Esau's setup. This is his kingdom. And, and again, what, where, where do you think um, Skill Gates be? You know, where do you think he implements his little... Uh, you know, his 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 medicines and things like yeah, he go to Africa. You know, I'm not going to talk too much on that, but you <laughs> hey, 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 you look into it. it didn't, you know, a lot of cases didn't turn out well. Anyway, it says several other countries have experimental experimented with versions of a universal basic income. Kenya, for instance, offers unconditional payments to about 20,000 people in 200 different towns in the United States. Numerous cities and some states are experimenting on a small scale with guaranteed basic income, which offers no strings attached payments, but only to select groups of people in need. While studies have shown these American programs to be successful, they have also run up against significant political opposition. And as you know, Esau, you know, divided. You know, the scriptures talks about a, a kingdom divided cannot stand. You got the Republicans. They don't want you to have that shit. You got the Democrats. They're like, oh, yeah, well, hey. 
we'll give you anything for the vote. Just keep us in office. You know, it, you know, they, they don't care, man. And this and, and the, this place is so far in debt. They, they I don't even get it, man. But it, it's slowly where well, I got to say, man, quickly circling the toilet right now. OK, but it says, but in South Africa, most political parties are all for they they just need to work out the details. The ANC is committed to finalizing a comprehensive policy on the basic income support grant within two years of a new ANC administration, ensuring broad consultation and, ex and expedited action, South America's ruling party said in a statement. And who do you think running all that anyway? You know, hey, you know, who do you think running all that? Who do you think is in control of all that? Esau. Esau, man. That's the reason why a lot of these these nations they're kind of joining BRICS, but still, even if they join in the BRICS nation sit, um, situation, they're still being um, ruled by Esau. Esau is still in control. Job nine and twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? Instead of this man just letting people, they're not going to give you a parcel of land. Why wouldn't they just give you a parcel of land? You know, throw you, you know, uh, 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 give you the materials, even build a damn house or just build, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't take that much for people to live, man. You know what I'm saying? Really? But if you give a person a plot of land and you teach them how to farm, you know, because they've taken away that that um, knowledge, you know, pretty much overall, you know, even though a lot of people over there, they do farm still. But a lot of people don't know how to farm man. they don't know how to, um, you know, have their own chickens where they can get their own eggs. You know, have goats and, you know, things where they can get, you know, it, the, the old school stuff. That's self-sustainable. Esau don't want you to have none of that. He's going to be like, oh, well, you know, come and get your next prescription. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You've run out of pills or oh, come and get your next prescription. That's how they're going to run this money down. Come, oh, 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 you're out. And we're going to read you up on the first and the 15th. You know, the same thing that they've been doing already. But it's just going to be on a on, on a larger scale. See, they've already tested the waters. They know what people are going to do. They know what people are not going to do. And as the pressures of this gas go up, the pressures of these groceries go up, the pressures of, um, um, you know, every day just regular old commodities go up. You got health care. You got um, it, it's people, man, they, they can barely take the kids to the damn daycare now. You know, the daycares is expensive as hell. You know, people working two, three jobs just to handle that. You got a car payment. You got insurance on the car. You got um, um, other, everything is just costly, man. So if they throw something like this out there and it's enough money to get people to, especially people that ain't doing shit anyway, they're going to go and take it, man. They ain't going to have no problems lining up, man, and letting this man put, um, 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 you know, their little EBT card into him inside. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen, man. It says that statement came a week before hotly contested general elections on May 29th. OK, so we don't need to get all that. But anyway, you, you get the point. I don't want to keep this long. It says while South Africa provides payments to certain groups living below the poverty line through its social relief distress grant program, the ANC plan would open el eligibility to all South African adults. Can you imagine that? The ANC said it is, a, it is exploring options like new tax measures and new social security tax to fund the program. OK, but you get what, it, what where this is leading to. And I only seen, I, you know, it's got quite a few comments and I only seen one comment that mentioned, you know, um, MOTB, Revelation 13, 16. But let me get first off, let me get. Um, going to the Apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach in the 1611 King James Bible. And it reads, never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. We're not to trust this man. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. And, and what's going to happen is, you know, they're going to come in humbly like, oh, yeah, we, we're, we're here to help. We know that you're pressured. We know that you're going through things. We understand that, you know, the, uh, the employment rate is at 30 percent, you know, unemployment rate, 30 percent, this, 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 this and this. And, and, and then next thing you know, they're going to ease people into it. It's going to be great. They're going to get used to it. And then all of a sudden they're going to they're going to hit you with the with the hookup. Like, all right, well, you know, the program is going this direction now <laughs> and you have to do this if you want to stay a part of it. And it's going to be some things that you're going to be giving up because the scriptures talks about how all men, going to, hey, everybody's going to be tempted, man. Everyone is going to be tempted by this revelation, man. 13 and um, 16. This is coming to a theater near you for everybody. But what are you going to do? That's the thing. 
Matter of fact, let me get this one in um, Isaiah real quick. 31 and 1. Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And, and the modern day Egyptians is these so-called white people, man. It, 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 you know, it, it's kind of a similitude, so to speak. But they are the ones that's in charge. It says, Woe. And that word, Woe, goes off in two A's. Like, pfft destruction <laughs> pretty much man woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots see the scripture says to never trust thine enemy because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek the lord and see our people so-called blacks hispanics and native americans which are biblical nationality is your israelites a lot of our people man they already they already they depend on esau for everything they depend on esau for everything Man, motherfucker get a little little slight headache instead of just catching a nap. They're going to the doctor. They're going to Esau. They're going to get some pills, man. They're going to get something to 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 relieve them of, of what's going on, man. You know? They're not calling on the Lord. They, when when Jake go, going through something, man, Jake don't call on the Lord, man. They go to the so-called white man. You know? They're dependent upon them with them food stamps and section eight and you know, um, um, you know, uh Medicare, Medicaid, and things of that nature, man. They don't call on the Lord, man. They go into that man. They're going to see what he can do for him. And you already see what he does for you. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> he going to... Have you refilled your prescription? That's pretty much what he's he's got going for you. Come and get your prescription um, 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 refilled. Did you take this, 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 and this, and this? You take this at this hour. You take this at this hour. You take this at this hour. Hey, this is what he's coming with, man. And he's coming with that in a, in a monetary package. I'm telling you, man, this man is about to get down, man. You you have to beware of this man. As a matter of fact, you know what? I didn't get it all, but let me go back to um that that um Ecclesiasticus 12 again. Let's get verse. Let me start back at verse 11. I want to get um, verse 12 and verse 13 as well. Well, let me start at 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron resteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So you're going to know. It says, set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So basically, uh, you know, you, you, you don't listen. You're going you gonna, you gonna to figure, you're going to realize it's going it's coming. You you it, it, it may be all because he he sets it up. It's all pretty. It's glittery, you know. It's shiny. It's gold. You know what I'm saying? He sets it up, man. Where it's gonna be beautiful. Look, all you gotta do is do is this. You don't even have to work no more. We gonna set you up. We just gonna reload your card, or we're gonna reload this, or you know, every month. You know what I'm saying? Every two to three weeks, you know, and, and you know, you get um, you know, incentives on fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, you know, and you're gonna get this. You're gonna get that with it. You're gonna get that with it, and then all of a sudden. He's going to uh, 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 close it. You know, it's almost like a um, it's a trap. No, he lures you in and then all of a sudden the door closes and you looking back like, what the fuck? What, hey, dude, what's going on? Now, they got you in a damn cage, bro. It says, verse 13, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or any such as come not wild beast? So when this comes down, it's going to be like Jake going to be like, hey, look, pfft. The brothers that's out here on the highways and byways, they're going to be like, well, what the fuck was you thinking? We told you. We told you don't play in the street. We told you the truck was coming. We yelling at you. We out here warning the flock. We giving you the warning. We telling you, hey, look, this, you know, the Lord said, hey, we don't deal with this man. But our people, man, you know, a lot of them are really caught up and, and two thirds are going to take this shit. And we're praying to Yahweh by Shimei Shai that he will have mercy on us, man, and keep us from even being near this man when all this comes around. But this is um, Revelation 13 and 16 because this is what it's all leading up to. A damn universal basic income. What do you think they're going to do with that, man? Hey, come on, man. You know what kind of control they're going to take over your ass? You get to giving him th that type of um, um, range over your life? Nah, man. You better off getting up, man, and working, man. You know, and be having a, 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 a choice about yourself. Like, shit, this motherfucker, man, he, he, he get to cutting shit on and cutting shit off. He ain't no different than your lights or your gas or your water. You cut your ass off. <laughs> Revelation 13, 16. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive, see, to receive 
a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads because see they're going to make it hard they're going to make it hard they're going to want to mandate this man and it's going to be you know it's going to be a choice of i'm to, i'm dependent upon the lord yahweh by shimmy i was shy or i'm just going to go for what this man told me to go for like you see what happened two years back here when everybody was rolling that sleeve up <laughs> it says and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark so if these people don't 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 if they don't have the universal basic income um hookup you know then they're not going to be able to buy or sell everybody else going to be looking at them like a stupid well, you better go get it let him star you sitting around here for the guy all you got to do is see and it's going to be a lot of that going on when when it when this shit really pop off it's going to be a lot of women with these with these children you know they're going to go for it anyway why because the so-called white man is already taking care of them he's giving them them food stamps and that section eight and, and, and those things that, that that keep their life at ease so they're going to do it but you know you're going to have men that's out here you know that's going to be talking to going to take that shit from their wife man well, well we the kids got to eat the rent got to be paid and this got to be and if you don't do it see it says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so this is what it's all coming down to in a nutshell man a lot of similitudes man you know we use a lot of metaphors and but that's the scriptures parable wise man and the Lord has given it to us straight up, but it's only for only certain people are going to have ears to hear. You know, the rest are just going to get you're going to get sucked into that vacuum. And when they get sucked into it, because look, this this is really this is what's going to happen here. First off, let me let me get verse six, um, chapter 16 real quick. Revelation 16 and two, it says, and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beauty and the beast, you know, I'm, I'm wording it that way, you know, um, and upon them which worship his image. So it's going to come some grievous sores, man. You're going to, ain't no telling what the fuck, man, bro. Psh. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can have a, just a general allergic reaction just from, you know, you know, I got to keep it, you know, um, 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 classy here because it's only so much we can say, but man, you can go, why do you think when, when you see those commercials on TV and they get to talking all fast at the end of the damn commercial when they get to talking about um, the effects of the side, right? You know what I'm talking about. Reverse that. When they get to talking to you about S-I-D-E-E-F-F-E-C-T's. <laughs> they be talking all fast at the end of the damn commercial. The P-I-L-L -L commercials. Get to telling you about, yep, this, 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 and this. But, you know, you're going to, if you have this, 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 and this going on, you know, stop taking it immediately. You know, what, what the fuck do you think all that is, man? It'd be people having allergic reactions from stuff like that, man. And they'd be, it, a lot of that stuff be messing them up. You just don't hear about it like that. Bad reaction. So what do you think is going to happen if you allow this man to put something that's pretty much overall <laughs> radioactive in you? You know? You think it's gonna happen? It's gonna. It says um gruesome and noise. It says um noisome, and grievous sores. And then let's go back to chapter fourteen. Revelation fourteen and nine. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb so it, it's going to be great destruction that's going to come to anybody that worship this man's image man anybody that take that shit they through and they ain't no coming back from it neither but you know it's jake gonna want to feed the belly jake gonna get hungry them kids gonna get to crying and they're not going to call on Yahweh by Shimei was shy that's that isaiah 31 and 1 they don't they're not gonna call on the lord they're gonna go down to egypt for help Esau got the food. Esau got the water. Esau, Esau got the, the, the you know, the, the cheese puffs, the Fritos and shit that I like. He got the, he, shit, damn, this man got unlimited supply of Coca-Cola, man, and Pepsi. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is go down there and swipe. Beep. And then, of course, they're going to get to telling you about, okay, you've had your allotted a number of, um, um, whatever types of food or whatever the case may be well yep you've eaten three cheeseburgers this week you have you know gone past your allotted um amount of um cheese and and beef onions or whatever the case may be especially that that oink oink 
they might actually give you a little more oink oink though. See? So you have to you have to look at stuff like that. Yep, you've gone over your a lot of the amount of travel. The scriptures talks about a man um uh, uh shall be shall want to go into a city and, and, and won't be able to, roughly paraphrasing. Because they can say, hey, look, okay, you see they, they keep talking about this climate change shit, the CO2 emissions and shit, you know. And they can easily say, well, all right, well, you know, with your universal basic income, you've gone over your allotted amount of items for this month. You know, the CO2 emissions, you, your carbon footprint, you've done your amount of carbon footprint for the, for the earth as of this month. Your, you know, your car's not going to start. Why do you think they want to go all electric and all this other shit and put these boxes in the cars where they can, you know, automatically turn off your vehicle now? And that's why I don't drive. I don't want nothing new. You know what I'm saying? I keep me a... Uh, 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 older vehicle in, in, in decent shape, man. Because <laughs> I'm pretty much A to B in it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just, um, you know, on that daily bread, man. Trying to get that daily bread. I like the newer cars. You know, they got a lot of you know, a lot of nice features and shit like that. But when you really think about it, man, you don't want to be in nothing that these motherfuckers can just turn off when they want to turn off when shit hits the fans. You just never know. You might have to hit the gas, man. <laughs> you might have to hit the gas, man. Here you go with a tracker in your shit. You know, because once you get to throwing away these phones, you can throw away the phone, you know, and, 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 you know, location is lost wherever you threw the phone at. But guess what? Universal basic income. They're going to want that. They're going to want that um, technology in you. So now they're going to be able to track you down. As a matter of fact, now, in a lot of cases may not even have to track you. You know, they may not even have to track you down. You know what I'm saying? They're going to, you know, shut your ass down. Here you go, you want a car, they can just shut the car down and lock you in there. You want a bus, you know what I'm saying? They can just shut the whole damn bus down. You got these electric buses, smart buses, hybrid buses, things of that nature, the little technology. You thinking that you're just trying to make it across the city, they shut the whole damn bus down. Or, you know, just before they pull up on you. Ew. You know, send the bus driver a little alert, or maybe not send them an alert whole damn bus shut down 50 people on there you know what i'm saying and they like <laughs> you know what i'm saying they got the damn bus around it matter of fact i was just watching the news just now motherfucker hijacked a bus man in atlanta he driving all in all kinds of shit he crashing in the car i'm talking about man shit look like look, look like something out of gta grand theft auto for real yep so 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 the world is getting crazier man and and, and it's all coming down to a point of hey we need order and they creating all the chaos to give you the order. So get ready for it, man. Ah, get ready for it. Get ready for it. And again, like I said, I could have looked into it a little further. But do a little research on this um, universal basic income. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me let's do this real quick. Let's just put it in there, man. I'm just going to put in what is universal basic income. Yep, a lot of shit going on right now, man. World getting interesting. Universal Basic Income, UBI, is a social welfare proposal that will give every adult citizen a regular, unconditional cash payment from the government, typically without conditions based on wealth or employment. The goal of UBI is to help people meet basic needs and reduce poverty. See? See? <laughs> now, what does that sound like? Sounds real good. Sounds real sweet. Well, sounds you know, a little tantalizing there but you already know man you get as soon as you get off into this and they get you it's like it's like a drug they'll get you hooked and then you know next thing you know you're there scratching your arm man looking like pookie from motherfucking new jack city man it keeps calling me man it keeps calling me you know <laughs> nothing you can do about it once you get off into it man you know what i'm saying because and you can clearly see the jobs being shut down all these businesses shutting down man uh, uh, for that, the reason why, what did they say with South Africa? Because the unemployment is so high. Then they keep telling you about all this so-called job growth here in America, man. The only reason why they can say job, job growth, because people working two or three jobs, man, just to make shit happen. It ain't like these are new jobs, you know, being um, created for new people. No, these are people. I got a full-time job. I got two part-time jobs. I'm hustling on the side and all that hustle shit about to stop too. Because once that cash is gone, 
you ain't gonna be able to say, well, hey, I know how to do breaks, or I can do some hair, or I can cut some hair, or I can do some nails, or I can, you know, um, you know, and that's my little side. Nah, nah, ain't gonna, if it, if the cash and everything is digital is popping, then it's gonna, hey, they're gonna want to cut, man. Esau gonna want to cut everything, and his place is in super duper debt, man. So I don't know how they gonna do it anyway. No, so th these are the plans of the elite, man, and it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because the days and times of Esau's Edom kingdom is is here. This shit is is done. It's about time for us to get up out of here, man. And he's got a couple of major moves to make, and this is one of the major ones. One of the major major prophecies is this right here before World War Three pops off, man. So I'm gonna end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashala.